Driving a tractor, climbing a tree, you can find it all at Cotton Top 3. <laughs> Let's get this party started. What do you think? Look at him. Y'all look. This is probably going to have a little tough time trying to focus. Don't know... How well y'all can see that. Those are clouds way over the horizon over there. That's one thing uh, my Sony camera. And I'm probably going to end up getting me another Sony. Just not right now. I like this camera a lot. I still hadn't told y'all what I got, but uh, I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna talk about it. It is a good camera. It's just I don't like the focus on it. It struggles sometimes. And for me, for any YouTuber that vlogs like I do, focus is very, very important. Especially when you uh, flip the camera forward and backwards. Like if I got it faced toward that horizon right now, when I flip it back around to me, it needs to be. As soon as it gets on my face, it needs to be in focus. Or if I flip it away from my face, out that way, it needs to be in focus. As you can see, it's still dark. I'm about to crank up. Get to running. Got a uh, big pile of wood here. I love the mornings. I'm going to tell y'all something. Those y'all who always want advice and stuff like that or anything. Alright, so you're not going to hardly find somebody that's very successful, no matter what they're successful at. Here comes somebody right there. Who don't start their day very early. That's a fact. Look at every wealthy businessman that there is across this country. And there may be one or two. Climb up the side of my loader. Who don't start their day early. But I'm going to tell you, it's going to be in the 99.9 .9 something percent range of those cats get rolling early in the morning it's just how it is so that's what it looks like why <laughs> don't I flip the lights on right there I don't have the back lights on Let's see you can tell the difference between the incandescents and the LEDs big difference big difference a little air in my seat here I got some fans on their way here. Gonna be here in a little, well, a few more hours. They got a, uh, <laughs> they got a pretty good drive. Get here. So I should have some trucks coming in, in just a second. We're gonna get this thing around. Those LEDs don't play. Still got the, the incandescents are up above them burning. Don't need them new. Man, y'all look at this mess over here. It don't get no better than that. My pickup stuff, you know, speed me up at all. So now, I hold this door open. I'm 
I'm gonna take this pile of pulp wood right here, and I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna pick it up, and I'm gonna stack it over here with this. Uh, what sons? Fixing the wackest right here, right quick. <laughs> Man, once it gets over in trees, it is tough, tough, tough. You can't even hardly see that pile right there until it gets on up for a couple more hours. I'm gonna throw all that wood right there. Pretty morning, beautiful morning, beautiful morning this morning. Good ass, good bit, you know, how the war tile does in hardwood, how it does in hardwood. You know, hardwood don't face that thing a bit. Thing's got 17, over 17,000 hours on it. And it just, it just rolls and rolls and rolls, man. All these machines, these, these deer swing machines, you can't beat them. You cannot beat them, man. That's what the hours is on mine now. This machine will be 10 years old next next month in October. Kevin's was 10 years old the 1st of February of this year. Yeah. So we got the we got two saws. We got the 372 and the 394. <laughs> Try to make the hinge right here. Okay. The saw is going to try to walk that away. Yeah. I've always just done a back cut. I've never done right. one before. I think it's recording. I think. Yes. Joy is a YouTube.
the side. That way it won't pull. And turn it. Well, no, nah, it ain't going to turn. But some of these big oaks, it can split it right here and tear that side off. So you don't want it So what I did is I kept it from tearing that side just then. All right. So if you still want to steer it, you can. No, you can't steer it. It's already done. It's done then. It's done. It's, it's done.
fact that you can control it all the way up to the, I mean, you can walk off and leave it if that, until you cut that back. That's right. So it's time to flip the calendar over to October. Whoop. Let's get it up here. There we go. Today's October the 1st. Bam, right there. That's a good picture right there, man. Good picture. There's going to be some upcoming stuff about the uh, Eastern Loggers uh, calendar. I actually have a new one. I actually have the 2019 one in my possession. I got it today. Uh, Vernon sent it to me. Uh, looked through it a while ago. I'm going to do a, a, a video about it. But they're going to be selling those things. Vernon and them are going to be selling them, the Eastern Loggers at the uh, Paul Bunyan show coming up this weekend in Cambridge, Ohio. All the proceeds made from those calendars, which is very, very cool, goes to um, loggers who have been hurt or injured in the way of gas cards, stuff like that, and also cancer you know, loggers and family members who have had cancer. So, uh, when I was there last year at the Paul Bunyan show, they so there's no telling how many of those things they sold. But I'm gonna get I'm gonna get into that a little bit later. But anyhow, so talking about this video right here, I like to run a saw. I love it. Uh, I like to cut the big trees too. I lo like that last clip that you just seen. I like to cut it and kill the saw. When as I'm walking away, I snatch my earplugs out. Cause I, I like to hear it. I like to if in in at the end of this video I'm gonna put a slow motion clip in there. I'm gonna well I'll put two in there. I may put this and then a clip of slow motion on it. But if if you listen to it in real time, you hear that tree as it's hissing through the air, and and it, those things hit the ground so hard, you can feel the ground jar up under you even way away from you if you're standing far enough back i mean it's it's nothing for me to be in a machine and fill the ground jar when derek drops trees on the ground when he's out there you know a couple hundred feet from us or anything like that but i like to run the big saws i like to hear that 394 run the 395 run uh, i didn't cut that second tree down with the the 394 because it was jammed that tree was the well that pile that drag of wood was jammed right up against that tree i just barely had enough room to stick that saw in there and bore it like that but uh, uh it was a lot of fun showing uh john how uh how that's done up close where um where he could watch it and and see but um it's just it's it's good stuff um get the heart rate up real high do a bunch of sweating and and things like that so there's going to be uh, a film and chainsaw video actually today, which is Monday. Uh, I'll be filming another one tomorrow. And so today I ran a 395 uh, Mr. Larry saw in that one. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to run the 394. And uh, I like to kind of mix it up like that. He's giving me that saw, told me to just run it and uh, use it like I want to. But uh, those y'all who are going to Paul Bunyan this weekend, y'all have a good time up there to the show. Uh, again, I'm not going to be there. Um, if you like my stuff, please subscribe to me. I'd, I'd really appreciate that. Appreciate the views that I get. And you can go to my website. I have a lot of stuff on my website. Um, the T-shirts, caps, uh, I got hoodies, all that stuff on there. Uh, koozies, just a bunch of stuff that's got Cotton Top 3 on it. So... I'm going to let y'all go for now. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters. Uh...